This is going to be the first of many maintenance videos for the R4107. So today we went out and we got a fault code, hydraulic oil pressure low. So we went over here to the port side, aft, Zeus pod, and we saw this oil in the bilge. There's a lot more. I cleaned it up a little bit. After a while, I finally found it way back aft here, way down here, there's a pressure sensor that goes right in there, right there. So it was leaking pretty bad from there. Here's the pressure sensor. What it was, was a bad o-ring. Here's the bad o-ring. You can tell it's kind of smushed right there. If it focuses. Yeah, it's totally squashed. So, luckily we have this box of o-rings. Pop this up. The o-rings have to be Buna N, B U N A dash N material. That type of material can withstand hydraulic oil and petroleum products. And it's uh, 8 by 2 right here. So I just put one of these on and we're going to install it with a 22 millimeter wrench and see if it works. All right, we installed the new O-ring and put the pressure sensor back. And then all I have to do is clip it back in. Use a 22 millimeter wrench. We're gonna clean up the area real well. And we're gonna start the engine. This is how I found where that pressure sensor it was. I just went to the Zeus Drive service manual, page 5A8, and looked at the trim manifold, and it's F. Trim tab pressure sensor B, failed on 26 January 17. All right, I forgot to tell you something very important. After we put that new o-ring on and we put the pressure sensor back in we're gonna have to fill it before we start it so this is right here inboard on the Zeus pod it says hydraulic oil just loosen that out you can tell I did just fill it as we were coming in but the oil has to be about an inch from the top so what you use is 0w30 Mercury synthetic power steering fluid. And you just use this funnel. Make sure this funnel is clean because just a few microns can contaminate it. And you put the put it like that and fill it up till it's an inch to the hat. Inch about an inch to the top. So this is what it should look like when it's full. The hydraulic oil is an inch from the top. 